Doctors and psychologists today expressed concern about the possible destabilizing effects the discovery of aliens might have upon people they consider psychologically susceptible. One of the journalists who attended SETI's press conference was Cheryl Davis, a freelance writer with a special interest in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Davis recalls what happened when she returned home on the evening of the astronomer's announcement. I remember that night. I'd just been given this monumental news and the world just seemed so normal to me. I guess I just figured that when we finally contacted alien life from outer space, they would just come right down to the White House and plant themselves on the lawn. So I come in, I'm on this daze from this press conference, and I'm listening to my answering machine, and there's this one really bizarre one. I kept it, it was so strange. I mean, he talked about Roswell. Maybe it's time to think about Roswell again, Miss Davis. Davis knew Roswell as a town where some people claimed a UFO had crash landed back in 1947. She was also aware that the U.S. Air Force had recently offered an explanation for what had really happened at Roswell all those years ago. They said the supposed UFO had actually been a crashed surveillance balloon from a secret program known as Project 